One of the saddest and strangest stories that we've heard um, out of this disaster yeah. that we've been covering for three days now is uh, the possibility of an alligator attack that cost a man his life in Slidell. Yeah. Erica Ferrando is following that story and she's joining us live with some new details about that. Erica. We're starting to learn a lot more about what might have happened out here. Um, we are on Avery Drive in Slidell. This is very close to the lake. You can see the water behind us. Um, that water is obviously very high right now, but we are learning that an alligator may have attacked a man out here, and now um, detectives are not able to locate his body. I have um, Captain Lance Vitter with the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office here to give us a little more information. Um, so, Captain Vitter, first of all, thank you. I know your detectives have been out here all day. Tell me what they're telling you. Yeah, they've been out here for four or five hours and they said they were called initially about um, a gentleman being attacked by an alligator. Um, they get out here and uh, learn that there was no body, um, but they could see signs of uh, you know blood that somebody was attacked. Um, so they had been investigating it thoroughly. We had uh, the boats out, the high water vehicles. The water is about knee deep, they said. Um, and when they got out, you know, the, the gentleman that was uh, attacked by the alligator his spouse was the one who reported it she was you know present and uh, they started their investigation and their interview with her and um, they still unfortunately have not been able to, to locate his body as of yet so we're not um, this is not a confirmed death to clarify right now it's a missing person investigation yes, unfortunately um, you know and with the body is one of the most, if not the most important thing of a uh, investigation concerning a death. Uh, we don't have a body, so we can't officially classify this gentleman as deceased. And he was a 71 year old gentleman. Um, so uh, it's an ongoing investigation. Um, there has been nothing determined from the initial investigation and the interview with uh, the spouse. Uh, that leads the, the investigators to suspect foul play, but they're still looking into it. But according to the wife, he was in his shed, just maybe either trying to get something for the generator or checking on tools. What did what did she say yeah, regarding so that? It's a it's a raised house, um, and it's surrounded by marsh and the wildlife refuge. Um, the area is well known to have alligators, and some of the accounts that they learned today, uh, seven plus foot alligators. She said that he went down to the shed underneath the raised house to check on some uh, stuff in his shed. Uh, she heard the ruckus and, and then when she opened the door and looked down, he was being attacked by the alligator. Um, she then began to try to render aid. When she realized the severity of the injury, um, she came up here, as you can see the water, that's, uh, she got a boat of her own or had a boat, got, came up here with a neighbor, called us. Um, which cell phone coverage at the time had not came back into um, service. So it was very hard for her to contact us initially. I, I mean, I can't imagine being in an emergency situation like that. We know 911 was out for a while today and cell phone service has been out, but you said she got on a boat and came up here and made that call and y'all responded. Yes, and, and you know, like the investigators said, she's been very cooperative from the very beginning. Um, she's very distraught, of course. I mean, this is a time where all of us are struggling to get through post uh, the Hurricane Ida and to lose a loved one is always a tragedy, but and, you know, in this manner is even uh, unthinkable and, and our hearts and prayers go out to the family. Um, but we will do everything we can to determine, you know, the exact cause of what happened. And um, hopefully we can, you know, the uh, guys on the boats had to come up here, um, as you can see right there, um, because the water was starting to recede. And if they don't come up, they're going to get stuck back there in their boats. So um, we're not finished. Um, they're still going to continue to search. I just can't imagine how she's feeling right now. You said she's distraught. Our hearts go out to her. Um, I mean... I know that, is she out there alone right now? Was she able to get with any family? Is she getting any sort of support right now? Yeah, so the investigators said that she had some friends or family that she's with now, so she's not back there alone, um, which, you know, we would do all we could to make sure that she was somewhere safe, um, especially, you know, electricity still out and wouldn't, nobody knows what when that's going to come back. Um, but, you know, again, we're going to do all we can and use all our resources to 
uh, find her husband, you know, to give her some closure and to and, and also too, so we can, you know, put uh, a final, uh, you know, touch on the case and, and you know, uh, again, with the body, like I said, um, not having the bodies, uh, you know, kind of hampering us right now. But foul play is not suspected at this point. No, no. Um, you know, again, like I said, it's under investigation and, and to, you know, it's closed by investigators. But at this point in time, we haven't discovered anything that indicated foul play. And as you mentioned, there are large alligators that have been spotted out here from time to time. Yes, I mean, you know, we're, you know, uh, pretty much in the marsh um, and the, the, the wildlife, federal wildlife refuge there, from what I'm being told, there's a few houses down this road in Avery Estates and they're like the second house from the lake, second or third. I mean, don't hold me to, to that, but they're, they're pretty close to the lake. Have you learned anything about this man? Do you know if he was from Slidell? I mean, do we know anything besides his age? Nah, all I was told was that he was 71 years old and, and out of respect for the family, you know, we haven't released his name or anything, so. Captain Vitter, anything else that you would like to share with the community? This is just a tragic story. Well, just also, I mean, this is very tragic. Um, you know, like I said, our hearts go out to them, but you know, this is another indication uh, with the water high, uh, please, you know, be careful. And uh, if you do not have to go in the water, don't go in the water because, um, you know, we live in the south and you know, south Louisiana. They have alligators, wild hogs. I mean, uh, you know, no telling what could could attack you. So just please be careful. Captain Bitter, thank you so much. Um, just to kind of wrap it all up, we are on Avery Drive. Um, detectives just kind of got back out after investigating all day, searching for the body of a man whose wife says he was attacked by an alligator. The water is high up. Seeing big seven foot alligators is um, not exactly rare out in this area, um, but that water was high. Apparently he was in his shed. Um, his wife heard the attack tried to help, but um, they have not been able to locate his body. But as um, Captain Vitter said, they are going to try and get back out here and do anything they can to locate the um, body or the person and just um, kind of wrap up this investigation. But our hearts go out to this um, woman who, um, you know, is whose husband is missing right now. For now, that's the latest here in Slidell. I'm Erica Ferrando. Back to you in the studio. Erica, thank you so much. Such a, a tragic situation, hopefully. Hopefully they can give her some closure soon. Yeah, definitely.